coming from the family this morning on the fight to get their loved ones back. Patrick Riefel has the story. This morning, a Florida family desperate for answers in the disappearance of Americans Gene Dickens Toussaint and his wife Abigail, allegedly being held for ransom in Haiti. The couple flying from Fort Lauderdale to Port-au-Prince last Saturday. At about 9 a.m., Abigail sent this text to a family group chat with photos from the plane, writing, we landed safely. Abby's father had texted back and there was no update. What happens next is not clear, but the family was told the couple left Port-au-Prince on a bus with a family friend. The bus then getting pulled over, the family says, by a local gang. They asked for the Americans on the bus to get off and their escort. The family says the kidnappers demanded a ransom of $6,000 for the couple's release. But after the family wired the money, they demanded more, 200000 more. Money the family say they don't have. The family now working with the FBI and the U.S. Embassy in Haiti. Now we're hearing from the family this morning on the fight to get their loved ones back. Patrick Riefel has the story. This morning, a Florida okay, y'all. family desperate for answers in the disappearance. So, um, more Americans, y'all, coming up missing, going out the country. Now it's Haiti. Okay? Now, the thing that I do not understand about this whole thing, you know, they took this family and um, they asked them for, you know, ransom money. And they sent the money and they turned around and raised it. And raised it up, you know, well over what that, you know, people can afford. Now, I'm not trying to be funny or anything like that, y'all, but how many times have y'all heard about, you know, people of color, y'all, getting taken and, you know, they're being held for ransom? You know, people of color don't have money like this unless they're, you know, rappers and stuff like that and you're guiding them, y'all, and you're guiding them travel all the time, all over the place. So, you know, why is the people that don't even can't afford the ransom being taken y'all ask yourself this question and the ones that can't afford you know ransom money um they're not being in touch something is wrong with this picture y'all you know people got to grow up and they got to learn that you can't you know this is not the day and age that you could keep traveling all over the place and think that everything is going to be okay and then you know you you play a russian roulette trying to figure out if you're going to make it back or not now when you go out of town now to all these different countries. And it's happening more and more and more. Um, is it something in the air? I don't know. I do not know. But this don't make any sense, y'all. And the crazy part about this, the family said they told them not to go. They told them to stay their tail at home and stop traveling right now. Because look what's happening to, you know, Americans just going out the country. And, um... They went anyway. Now they're over there and you don't know if they're, you know, if they're gone or not. They could just be still collecting money and they might not even be, you know, be alive, y'all. To be honest, I'm just going to be completely honest. This is what comes with, you know, a hard head. Okay. Sometimes it costs you your life. Now, they already got $6,000. So if they don't send them this 200000 now... What are they going to do? Are they going to take this couple out? Or are they just going to return it back off the 6000 and they already asked for 200000 It's the question. Okay? Now the FBI is getting in on it and everything. But it's, you know, you're talking about another country, y'all. By the time, you know, any authorities could get to them or whatever, whatever, you know, they could be gone. And they're never going to figure out who actually did it. Most likely, nine times out of ten, they're not even going to figure out who did it. People got to start listening to other people. You got to start paying the news some attention. When you're starting to hear, you know, all of these cases just back to back of Americans, you know, being targets now in other countries. It's time for people to stop booking tickets to certain places. Okay, y'all? We have a lot of beautiful places right here in the U.S. of A, y'all. We don't have to travel across the world, you know, to go on vacation all the time. All right? Especially at a time like this. 
it's a lot going on and i'm gonna tell y'all another thing during you know this political season when it's time you know it's getting really close to elections you know they use even stuff like this to win elections okay y'all so you have to be careful right now okay you have to seriously be careful sometimes they won't even you know do anything for a crime about a crime or anything until you know they want to try to win elections and then they use that as a tool oh uh, you know you 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 vote for me i will make sure that we get down to who did what did what and make sure that we you know get some justice when they already know you know um uh, you know people are yearning for justice for a lot of stuff that's going on right now look how the white house treated you know the family the all the people that's been concerned about shanquilla robinson y'all Look how the White House press secretary acted like they were getting on her nerves, okay? And see, this is part of the problem. I say this all the time. Just because somebody is of color don't mean they deserve to be in the White House. Just because somebody is, of, you know, is white don't mean they're supposed to be in the White House. Just because somebody is Hispanic don't mean they're supposed to be in the White House. You got to start doing homework on people, okay, y'all? And I know a lot of my subscribers say, you know, it really doesn't matter because they're going to pick who they want to put in there anyway. But y'all see the lines and a lot of people standing out in the lines for hours to try to put certain people in because they think that it's going to make a difference. What difference is it making, y'all? Biden got an office, okay? And Biden put in a lot of black women, y'all. A lot of them. He put them in positions where they're running things. But is any changes being made, y'all, for the good? For us? No, it's not. You still cannot even go in certain areas right now after dark without getting taken out, y'all. So if you're going to put people in these offices and they ain't not going to make a difference, then what the hell are they there for? Okay, y'all? What are they there for? If you send in all these letters to the White House and then you, you know, somebody the same, you know, complexion and everything uh, that we are, get on, you know, the stand and they sit up there and act like the people getting on their nerves when they ask them, you know, what's the hold up in sending these people back to over there so they can be punished for what they did in Mexico. Ain't nothing wrong with asking them that. But they say you better, you know, go on to the Justice Department. That ain't my, you know, that ain't our thing right now. But I tell you what, when it get closer to election time, <clears throat> they will use this as a pawn. You know, we're going to find out what happened to Shanquila. You know, and you just vote for us. Then that's when, you know, you're going to get a little something, something done. And then they'll make it look like they're the heroes. This is how this works, y'all. And it's done like this all the time, especially around election time. And like I just said, you know, um, how many cases have y'all seen? That people have taken, you know, African Americans, y'all, and held them for a ransom. Not many, y'all, because they don't, they know that a lot of African Americans cannot even afford no ransom money. So you, you think twice about, you know, what's the whole purpose of this in the first place, y'all? This is a mess. And like I told y'all, you know, when it, it, even I talk about this to the younger generations. If you don't start doing right and start listening, then there's going to be some repercussions for being hard-headed. And this is one of them right here. So learn from their mistakes, okay? You sit up here and you play all these games thinking that y'all doing something big because y'all feel like y'all getting away with it and y'all in your big fancy houses and your money and the this and the that. But lo and behold, when it comes back around for you, like I said, I wouldn't want to be standing next to them, y'all, okay? This ain't no game that's going on out here, y'all. And that's the last thing. I, I'm glad I don't fly. I'm glad I don't. That's the last thing I want to do is get caught up in some country somewhere and you don't have, you don't know nobody. You don't know your way around. And half the time you don't even speak people's language that, you know, you go to these countries. So when you're out here, you know, living your best life and can't nobody tell you nothing, this is what happens, y'all, okay? But here it is. Another couple is, you know, in another country, and they're holding them ransom, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.